Hi everyone, welcome to Data Embassy. Today I'm going to show you how to get the last month's sales and uh, its change from the previous months without any time dimension. We'll show some technique when we only need to show the numbers uh, of the last month and its change. It can be used in the in the showing, displaying just the KPI. So we can use a relatively simple technique to get the number. First, let's uh, create a custom date, which uh, is months. Okay, the difference between data part and the data value, that is data part, it's just a partial, uh, a part of a full date, say months, June, that's only June. But the data value is the whole thing. It has something like a February 25, 2000, and 20. So we will use date value here. Then let's create a set. Use all top and choose the all the data months and the maximum top one. So that is last month. So with this set, we can get the last month's sales easy. Last month's then sales last month. Uh, sales. Drag this to the view and we got the last month sales without any dimension and without table calculation. So now next we want to calculate the change from the last month. And first we need to create a set that help us to find the second last month. This time by formula max if not last months then order date months and end the top one this will be second last months and the same we can get the sales of second last months sales that is if second last months then sales and so you you can see that it's uh, pretty easy to get the sales of the previous months with the help of set. Now let's calculate the delta. Sum last month's sales minus sum second last month's sales. And uh, let's calculate the percentage. The sum second last month's sales which is delta percentage. And let's drag it to the view and format it. Voila! We got the last month's sales and the change percentage from the previous months. That's all for today. See you next time.